Hi guys, uh, I hope this finds you well. Shiba here and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, we've been doing InDesign CS6 tutorials for the past like four videos. It's been about CS6 and I decided uh, how about we shift to Premiere Pro so that you can learn how to edit your own videos and share them with your friends or even put them up on your channel or even for fun yeah so we are going to shift to uh, Premiere Pro CS6 that's a software that helps you edit your own video add some effects some transitions to add some professional touch to your video Once the software opens, this is the interface that you get. You go ahead and choose new project. Okay. Uh, in this section, you can name your project and also choose where you want to save it. Okay, so let's call them as basics. And you want to save it um, in this folder. Yeah, let's say in this folder. Okay. Let's call it basics one. Then you click OK. After that, you can choose to name your sequence, but it has no effect so i'll leave mine as sequence one i really wouldn't advise you to tamper with anything else here in the sequence presets and the settings and the tracks just leave it the way it is and then click okay okay so once you're done this other interface comes up there are about four sections within this interface this place that is named source and in brackets no clips this is where like you you save your projects whatever you want to be part of the final product this is where you select from on this other section this is like a monitor it's called a, a program monitor this is where you can look at how your final product will be and make any changes if necessary on this other bottom left section this is where you have all your raw data your videos your images your audio everything that you want to use within your project once you import them they come to that section on the bottom right this is where your sequence is basically what you'll be working on you'll drag it here and then from there, once you export, whatever is within this sequence will be able to be exported. The sequence has two types of tracks, the video track and the audio tracks. For the video tracks, as the name suggests, you'll have videos that you'll be working on, the final uh, pieces, the final sections of your footage as videos. You'll also have images. They go to the video section um, and titles titles that you create they go to the video tracks audio is basically audio just your audio okay so first things first let's import whatever that you'll be using our raw data our raw footages and images and everything else that you'll be working on so you go to file and then come to import once you import it will direct you to some folders where you can choose the files that you want to work on so let's take a trailer final let's take this okay you see it's importing a video uh, let's take um,
now let's take this an image so we have a video we have an image let's import an audio 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 is our audio okay so we have all that this is basically what we'll be using for today's video sometimes you can import videos or an image or um, audio and once you click import it tells you error code or something the file is corrupted it simply means that the file you're trying to import is in an unsupported format and i'll show you later on how you can change the formatting of such files so that you can still be able to use them so once you have your raw data here the first thing you do is move them from the project where you have all your raw data to the source where you can be able to save you can double click it simply goes up there double click on anything sorry You simply okay it goes up there the other option is to click and drag you can click and sorry click and drag it there it will just move to the top part okay so let's start working on our video Assuming you have this video, if I click on uh, it, I use Adobe CS6 it's plain. So if you look at this video, it's 54 seconds. And maybe I don't want all that to be part of my final footage. I want some sections. Let's starting from here so all i have to do is listen to my video up to the section that i want and once i arri i arrive once i arrive at the right place i simply click the i button and then watch it uh, let's assume I want it up to that section and then click on the O button. You see, the green highlighted uh, section, this basically shows the section of the footage that I want. The other sides on the right and on the left of this highlighted section, they won't be part of my final footage. Alternatively, if you look at these tools, you'll have a um, mark in and mark out arrow. So you you drag to the section where you want it to start, you click on mark in, okay? You watch to the other section that you want to end, and then you click on mark out, and it highlights for you, okay? Okay, so. Okay. So once we have our final footage, our section, once we have the section that we want to be part, once we have the section that we want to be part of our final footage, drag to the section where you want it to start, you click on mark in, okay? You watch to the other section that you want to end, and then you click on mark out, and it highlights for you, okay? Once we have the section that we want to be part of our final footage, all I have to do is click and drag to the sequence section. So I click and drag here. Yeah. As you can see, let's keep exit. As you can see, there are two tracks, the video and the audio track, meaning it brought both the audio and the video to the final part of my footage footage if i just want the video if you look at these two let me call them icons if you look at this it says drag video on so if, if i click on this and drag it will just bring the video track with no audio if i want the audio only i click on this icon and it will just bring the audio only without the video okay assuming we want the video okay sorry 
we want the video only at this section okay this is our video if you listen to it there is no audio okay but you want this audio to be part of that footage i simply double click and bring the audio to the source section and then i mark in Okay, but if you look at this section, the audio hasn't covered the whole video. So if you look at my cursor moving around, you can see a red, what do I call it? A red arrow facing inwards. When it faces inwards, it gives me the option of extending the audio. So I go to the last section of the audio and pull it outwards. Okay, you see it already fit to the very last section of the video. If you listen to the audio and feel like the volume is too high or too low and you want to add up the volume or just turn it down, you simply click on the audio and then right click and here you can be able to see audio gain. If you click on audio gain, you can either add, you can click on this and drag, meaning you're adding or just reducing, okay, from there. You can be able to set um, an, a volume level that is acceptable or that is comfortable for you, okay? Once you feel your final footage is ready for exporting, you come to File, Export, Media. Once you click on that, another interface comes up and here you can be able to play around the settings for example the format you can choose a format that you want either avi if there is the commonly used one you can choose uh, an mpeg you can choose um windows media those are basically the ones that we that work so let's assume one windows media and these i'll just leave it the way it is and then make sure you check the export video and audio boxes so that you just don't export one part of your footage the rest i'll just leave it that way but one thing here if you look at the width and the height they're 720 by 480 but if you want uh, maybe a wider screen a wider yeah a wider video a wider screen video then you unlink this if you click on this you simply unclick unlink and then you can be able to, to change let's say you want a 1080 by 720 okay okay so the rest is okay uh here in this section the the range this is where you choose whether you want to export the whole footage or you just want a section of it, you simply custom it here. When you choose the work area, it means you're exporting the whole thing. Same case to the sequence, you're exporting the entire sequence. Okay, you can custom whether you want a few seconds or you want just maybe the first 10 seconds of the footage. Yeah, all that. Okay, let's leave it at that and then click export because there was a file with this name let's replace it it's exporting let's wait you can actually monitor how your video is exporting and in the meantime as it exports you can work on something else so long as it's not within uh premiere pro because it can't handle two projects at a time you can work on other things within your machine as it exports okay Sometimes you might be having multiple uh, clips and maybe you want to the transitions or the effects or the attributes that you want in the first clip are the same attributes you want within the other clip. So let's assume we have scaled this one. Click on effects. Okay. Lock this. 
So let's assume we have those attributes. Let's play so that you can be able to see what I'm talking about. Uh, so in this channel, uh, you learn how to create your own designs using Adobe Illustrator or InDesign. You'll also learn how to edit videos using Premiere Pro. Uh, majorly, I use Adobe CS6 because that's what works best for me. Uh, I'll be uploading videos twice a week. So assuming you have that scaling effect and you want the same on your other clips, you simply click on your first clip, right click, and then copy. Okay, come to your second clip, click on it, and then right click, paste attributes. It basically pastes for you what was on the first clip. Hey you, I hope this finds you well. My name is Sheba. And the same and the same on the other clip so that you don't have to do a repetition of the same okay unless you want different uh, attributes unless you're working with different attributes but if they are similar and you want to paste you want to apply the same uh, attributes in all the clips then you can use that okay so once you're done Control s to save uh, your project and it and you're good to go. guys that's all about our first video with premium pro i really hope you've learned something how to import an image how to save your project how to import a video and an audio how to create a sequence the final sections of your sequence and finally how to export your video i really hope you've learned something and that you can be able to do something in the meantime with your videos thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial uh, bye.